Well, these days, the thing is, like, there's so many resources. Things are so much more accessible than the days back in when I got to it. You know, back in the day, everything was grassroots, you know, the prize pots. You know, there was no pot bonuses sponsored by, you know, any companies or anything. So these days, there are resources all over the internet. It's really about, you know, own a copy of the game. I'm um, getting in touch with a major resource. Um, a lot of people will start with maybe a YouTuber that they'd like to follow. Maybe My Smash Corner or Beefy Smash Dudes, that kind of thing. And it's all, a lot of it's about expanding your knowledge base from wherever you start. So maybe you know how to play your character. There's 80 characters in the game. You know, ultimate, you have to learn all those matchups. A lot of it's about kind of like picking the point from where you're at and expanding in the competitive direction, which is just basically what are the things that separate casual Smash from competitive Smash. You know, there's a rule set. You're going to start learning about things like frame data, character matchups. So there's an enormous amount of things to learn, but a lot of it's just like you kind of start where you are find resources around competitive smash and you'll sort of move in that direction and i'll be honest like you know the sources you find and how and the, the direction you move in will affect the speed of your growth but it's more about the journey than the destination anyway so you kind of just like you start wherever you can some people start as fans of you know like that guy who made falcon combo videos and just put like lmaos all over it and other people started off as you know hungry box fans it, it doesn't matter where you start but just like moving in the competitive direction from there that's all you got to do uh i highly recommend uh Getting to know your character, paying a lot of uh, time to the game, you know, is more uh, on, how to say it, uh, based on reaction, you know. The more reaction you have and the more you know the game, the better it will be for you. Uh, I'll definitely recommend checking out like social media. I feel like that's a big link for everything. Like if you don't know where to go, try to check on like a Facebook page. See, like if you have Twitter, try to ask around. I feel like school is also a great place to start. Like if you have friends or anything or like any social event. Like, hey, do you play Smash? Do you know like the competitive scene or anything like that? But definitely social media, specifically more so Facebook. It's, like every like Facebook page will have like groups and stuff like that. You can just go and join be like, hey, where are the local scenes at? They'll provide you like an address and stuff like that. It's, yeah, it's very simple. So I would just recommend looking up what the local scene is doing, seeing what tournaments are going on there. It isn't even like about necessarily being good or getting your game up to that level. It's about interacting with the community more than anything. You know, people find out about stuff like this through Facebook, through Twitter, Discord, what have you. Get active on social media, but at that point, you know, once you know where you're going, you log off, you get to, you get over here, and you test yourself and. You know, it's almost like a, it's almost like joining a cult or a religion or something like that. You keep coming back yeah. every week. It works if you work it at the end of the day. And you're going to see those gains socially and on the scoreboard.